What's up, everybody? It's your boy. So uh, here we are for the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta review. Okay, y'all already know this is more than likely going to be a quickie. We will jump right into it. Before I do, if you guys do not know, I am a, now a uh, Cincy consultant. So if you would like to order Cincy diffusers, uh, wax warmers, any of that good jazz, I have a party going on. The uh, link will be down below. Go ahead, check it out, support your boy. All right. Enough with the church announcements. <clears throat> Candy and Todd are talking about um, baby shifts and whatnot, and it's even mentioned that Todd did not spend a uh, lot of time with, um, actually, he didn't meet uh, Kayla until she was um, older, so he doesn't know about um, taking care of an infant, which I'm like, okay, and they're talking about shifts and, you know, taking him through the motions and all some real shit since he doesn't know it's too easy to go to a parenting class and he can learn the basics you know holding a baby changing a baby little shit like that but <clears throat> again y'all need to watch candy because one of a couple things gonna happen either a the spinoff is going to revolve around todd being distant especially when they uh couldn't hear the heartbeat of the baby because he has an issue with you know death i.e with his mother or the whole trying to start up this um restaurant or now the whole friction between, you know, mother and father and, you know, pretty much him laying down law and wanting things his way. So y'all just watch. Kim, um, her uh, stylist Victoria comes over and she was like, she got some good hair. And I, I looked at uh, Victoria's hair. Now I looked at Kim's hair. I'm like, no wonder why her shit look fucked up. Uh, she brings up doing a brunch um, and pretty much says she wants it to be a beat list brunch and you know her whole thing is you know kind of like take off the facade and just show your natural beauty like that you know i can be beat when i want to <laughs> and i'm looking like i mean it looked like somebody beat you but you don't look beat but all right okay thank you try again uh fake has uh aiden making uh a beat a car for apollo that's cute but what I will do is no matter how much I don't like fake her, I cannot take away that with her children, more or less Aiden, you can tell that she has done a great job of uh, raising him. And then Kim makes a phone call or sends like a little voice message to all the ladies saying, hey, this is what I want to do. And for what it's worth, um, Portia didn't say anything, Cindy Reed didn't say anything, but you damn sure heard... Um, Candy and uh, Kenya just like the fuck so we'll see what happens okay so now we have uh, Candy and Todd um, actually you have uh, Candy and uh, Carmen and uh, you know they're talking about the nanny and whatnot and Candy's whole thing is the nanny's not going to do everything for me Todd comes in and you know he's happy about it now he's like yeah I mean I have to change the diaper yada yada blah blah and then Candy's like, oh, well, what about uh, Manny? <laughs> and Todd pretty much is like, mm, no. Literally, bold the fuck up, dropped the base, like, no, why? Because I said, I'm like, come on now, man in the house. Come on through. Now, they still ain't put together the motherfucking, um, what you call it, the uh, nursery. I'm just trying to figure out why the hell Carmen ain't been put to work. But okay, what else we got going on? So, um... I right, said so they got a little play baby, which did I, I mentioned that just before, uh, but they had a play baby and Ty had been, you know, doing some Googling and, you know, he'd been uh, working on his skills. So Ty know what the fuck he going to do, but I can still see them milking this for a damn spinoff. I ain't lying. Hell, they probably didn't already shot the motherfucking spinoff, you know, for her being pregnant and whatnot in the first couple days. I ain't lying. Uh, Cynthia is uh, at an eyewear, uh, what you want to call it, commercial meeting. With her staff, and they're still discussing who they want to use, Kim or um, Kenya. And Fake Tris talking to um, her attorney about uh, pretty much moving forward with the divorce. And I'm pretty sure it's going to pick up right there when it comes back off commercial. Okay, so the only thing that I'm going to say about uh, Fake Tris is she's saying that um, she's waiting for the kids to see a therapist. Um, and when a therapist says it's okay for them to visit um, Apollo, then they will. And she also wants them to be in a more kid-friendly place. Okay. Um, Horsha, the only thing I'm going to say is she broke her phone. She don't know how to back up the phone. She was like, and 
with the with the uh, cloud. I, I don't know where the cloud is. Somebody can somebody just reach up there. I don't know who gonna reach. I'm just they're just like, Lord, she can't be this damn dumb. No, 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 no. Again, when when no. Kim is setting up for this damn party. I'm just trying to figure out why does she have all these extra glasses? Like she gonna have that many motherfucking people there. I got it, it's the ambiance and shit, but miss me. Uh, Candy has on little makeup. Kenya pretty much is beat. Um, Horsha is beat, but she just got off work. Um, what else? What am I I'm trying to see who else? Did anybody else come in that I'm missing? And Phaedra came in and, yeah, just a little bit of makeup and that's it. Y'all, ooh, and Lucifer comes on tomorrow. I got to make sure that I set my DVR. I may not watch it tomorrow, but damn it, I'm watching that shit. I'm just saying. Judge me if you want to. Okay, so we really didn't get a whole lot. Um, the Million Man March got rehashed. Because, you know, like I said, they all haven't seen each other, so they rehashed that. Um... Kenya rehashed uh, going to Detroit, and that's pretty much it with that. Um, what else? Uh, Cynthia brings up the project, and Kim pretty much, her whole thing is, I don't want to co-direct. So, I can somewhat start to see what potentially got her her peach. Just the fact that she's willing, you know, it's one of those where the only reason why... Claudia got her peach last year is because she went toe to toe with Nini. So I'm assuming because Kim is going toe to toe with Kenya. Probably why. Because I mean, other than that, we're really not getting nothing. And I, I'm really, I'm still really not getting nothing either way. But uh, she pretty much says, okay, it's going to be on location um, in uh, Jamaica since Peter um, has work in Jamaica. And he invited her. She decides to do a girls' night out trip. And that was cold word, cold word for, hey, we being frugal in the motherfucker. I'm going to tag along. I'm going to try to convince Bravo to get y'all some cheap-ass tickets. And we all just going to come out here and try to make this shit work. Ain't nobody dumb. Uh, Candy can't go, of course, because she's pregnant. And then they start talking about makeup and whatnot. And, um, you know, uh, Kenya is giving, you know, just the... um background of um uh, wow can i think the the background of what makeup was why people wore this that, and third her whole thing is you know yeah it's an add-on but she's pretty much saying i feel um um damn i swear my brain is not working right now felt somewhat offended by the audio that she sent so we're going to have them further clear or oh, she's going to further clarify we're going to see the little back and forth all right so uh cynthia and uh kim are meeting up for um uh lunch and it's pretty much just talk about the uh whole concept of the uh commercial kenya's not there because she's putting out a uh five uh, uh um <clears throat> how how can i say um metaphorical uh fire with her uh house and whatnot the only thing that upset me is she uh kenya should have called cynthia and told her rather than cynthia calling her it's the only thing i was upset about kim's uh you know she has a storyboard and all the other stuff and the concept she gave me if you guys have ever seen mike posner's uh cooler than me it kind of gave me that feel you know because her things like you know they're walking down the beach you know just regular, as soon as they put the uh, Cindy Big glasses on, now they're on the runway and the whole off on, off on. I'm just like, I mean, it's cute, but it's something that has been done before. And I think with a commercial, you really want to do something that hasn't been done before. But I mean, again, what the fuck do I know? And uh, Kenya is with Matt. He's actually the guy that uh, she went out on date on. They have been dating for a month. And he's helping her with the construction of the house. And if y'all been watching the vlogs, you know that they was on the beach somewhere together and all that other good shit. So we'll see now. Okay. So Kenya is not giving me a whole... Not Kenya. Cynthia is not giving me a whole lot. She's actually starting to piss me off. Uh, especially being flip-floppy. I got it. You're impressed with what um Kim gave you. 
And if you really want both of them to work together, it's one of those ways just like, hey, y'all work together, y'all don't. But the fact that Kim is pretty much saying that she really doesn't want to, but she will if she have to, it's just like, see, again, she didn't put her spine back on layaway on some real shit. And not to mention, then, uh, you know, Cynthia makes a joke like, now don't be sitting here crying and ready to leave and go home. She's like, oh no, this is business. So you mean to tell me when it comes to business, you can be away from your family for more than a fucking, you know what? I'm First of all, this was a fucking filler episode. So this is what the fuck it is. I'm going to save all of what I got for next week because I get the feeling that one, I'm going to go in and two, we're going to hit the climax and then the shit going to go on, you know, to be continued. Then we're going to come back to the next motherfucking week. But we'll see. I'll see y'all next week. Peace. Bye. Rate, comment, subscribe, share.